Right, hi everyone, this is our review of the Vax Power Stretch Pet Hoover, um, kindly given to us by AO to review for you all today. Okay, so there we are, there's box, and here is the main part. Obviously you can see it's quite smart looking, it's quite lightweight, easy to lift up, easy to carry around. You've got the power socket on the back there, and then there's the start button on the top, and this button on the top here, if you press that, lift it off, that's how we empty it. I'll demonstrate how to do that a little bit later on. Okay, so that's the main part of the hoover there. In the box, I'll get all the pieces out and show you what we've got in here to start with. So first of all, there's the main hose. I'll show you how to clip that on. Okay, one hand on the top, you get your hose near the hand and just click it into the front like that. Okay, the next part out of the box is the telescopic extension tube. What you've got to do is push the button on the front and then it extends out. Obviously you can make it as long or if you push the button again, as short as you want, depending how tall you are. Okay, so I'm gonna make that a bit longer. Obviously that goes on the end of your extension hose like that. And the next piece part of the box is the combination floor head and that just goes on the end of the tube as so. And there you go. Pipe on the end of that, and then whichever tool head you wanted to use, and that does actually reach 
all the way up the stairs. So if you had left your hoover at the bottom of the stairs, you could then do every stair and probably the top of the staircase without having to carry your hoover up the stairs. So we'll show you that now. Right, so I'm going to do the stairs now. I've chosen the turbo head to stick on the end of the pipe like that because I think it's going to pick up the most stuff. Again, just put it on the back. Because that extension tube's so long, you can just leave the hoover at the bottom of the stairs and do each stair one at a time all the way up because it's so long, right to the top of the stairs without even having to lift the hoover up. Okay. Right, so you've seen it working in the front room, you've seen all the different tool heads on the end. Really easy to get on, really easy to take back off again. Obviously that uh, tube extends as well like I showed you before so you can have it even longer if you want to. That's the extendable hose. Again everything clips on, clips off really easily, really easy to use. It's nice and lightweight. Um, I'll show you now how to empty it. So we said before you press the button on the top, easily clicks off like that and then when you turn it over, there is, there it is, little button, click that button and you can empty it from the bottom like that or as you can see on the back, the lock position and the unlock position. So if we twist it to the unlock position, top comes off. Then you've got your filter on the top there, that comes off as well. You can give that a clean, give that a wipe. Actually tells you in the instructions how to wash that properly and then how to leave it to dry before you put it all back together again. You can just give it a whack as well. And then this piece in here comes out as well. So grasp it by the middle bit, twist it round, lift it up. And then that whole inside section, I think, that comes out as well. I can see really easy to take to pieces, all the bits come out, you can give it a good clean and then nice and easy to fit back together again. That clicks in the top, push the bottom back on, make sure you hear it click. This bit goes on the top as you can see is little dots there, they click in and then twist into the grooves like that so it can't come out easily filter back on and then you're looking for that unlocked position and then clicking it back into the lock position really easy and then it just clicks back on the front right so that's all the pieces we've used now I've shown you how to empty it there's also a feature on the side you can see here the lock position on the wheels you can actually turn that round and pull that off and you can clean that filter inside the wheel as well if you need to and then again that just clicks Clicks back in. Oh, a little bit more difficult than we first thought. There we go, we're looking for that arrow. Clicks back in like that. Overall, I think it's a really nice design. I like all the extra features, all the extra tools you get with it. It's really easy to empty. Um, I've just unplugged it there, and then obviously the button on the top, press that button. And be careful with that so you don't get whacked in the hand. That comes in nice and fast. Um, not too noisy for a hoover, like I said, it picks up the pet hair really nicely. Only disadvantage, like I said before, is when you're using the combination floor head, this one here in particular, I noticed, because the suction is quite strong, it would only go in one direction on our carpet. I found it really hard to push it back the other way. That might just be our carpet, it might work a lot better on a hardwood floor, I don't know. Um, but it does pick up the pet hair really, really easily. One thing I've noticed that I didn't really like... And as you can see, if you were using the hoover and pulling it along behind you, as I pull it along here, this wheel goes round, but the wheel on the other side doesn't. If I move those out of the way, I can show you that from the other angle. So if you're pulling it along behind you, this wheel rotates really easily, this one gets stuck. If I twist it, try and twist it round by hand, it's actually quite tough. It's not quite circular. So that doesn't go round at all, that wheel there, when you're moving it. Doesn't make any difference when you're hoovering whatsoever, just a little bit annoying. So overall, really like the product. Um, thanks again to Rihanna from AO.com for sending this out to us. It's going to be really useful to get off all that pet hair. Um, yeah, really like the product. I hope the video has been useful. Okay, thank you. Bye.